Hey guys, this is V and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how I style my china cabinet. Um, as you guys know that I have painted this piece in a champagne gold. The door right next to it is my lovely outdoor kitchen. And this is how the piece is looking after painted. And it was a totally different color and i wanted to spruce it up this piece i picked it up from pick it out of my formal dining room and put it in this area i might do pictures of my the old the cabinet that was there before that i took out of there i'm taking the furniture from one side putting it to the other this is how the bottom look and I happen to have knobs that will mimic the style of this. So this is the original color of the cabinet. This have not been touched, have not been touched, I meant. And this is how this is the come back and I will show you how to how I store my napkins and how I made a napkin holder. Not a napkin a, a napkin ring holder this is the other area on the other side it has four doors and in this area um, it has a shelf but I'm not going to use the shelf I think the shelf pick up maybe about two or three dishes so I just opt not to use it here are the knobs that I am going to use these longer one is going to go on the top the top doors and this one going to go on the bottom and I think it matches the bottom the the ones for the bottom match it perf perfectly I'm going to show you how I'm going to fill in this hole and after I add the knobs to the piece so I went ahead and added the knobs this is how it looks and I absolutely just love it it adds well I already think I live in a tree house the way my area is situated and with adding these knobs gonna add a certain elegance to the cabinet so this is the way that they are looking the knobs match the bottom even though it was not purchased for it but years ago it was on something else and it ended up matching this place this piece perfectly the longer one matches the top i believe and this is how everything is looking my paint job came out so beautiful and even though this piece is larger than what i have I think it looks good so we're going to go ahead now and address the hole in the bottom and we're going to use what a plain old push pin thumbtack and what i'm going to do is add some glue to this and that's the hot glue and just push this in place and i'm going to go ahead and um finish it off in the same color as the cabinet I, I did them silver before I had one gold one silver to see which one match but uh, one gold is too bright and the silver will work but wanted everything to look cohesive so I went ahead and then used a dab of the paint that I finished the cabinet in so after turning it you don't see anything so now I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of the paint and a little sponge brush and paint a piece out and what I'm gonna do eventually is just you know just drag the paint down so it does not pull in one area so this is the silver one not done yet so we're gonna go in after it's glue and settle and i'm using this paint eventually you're gonna see it just totally disappear 
it became one together with the wood i could have used a little piece of wooden dowel or i could have used wood filler but i didn't think about it before so that's the next quick fix so here um, are some of the dishes they here all of the dishes that i took out of the other cabinet that i had in my breakfast room and i put them on my coffee table here are the other that was in the bottom together with the spoons the cutlery knives and stuff and i had my some of my blue and white there some white dishes formal dishes and we're going to go ahead and just style the upper part of the cabinet like i said come back and i will show you how to make a napkin ring holder for your space where it will condense your napkin rings so after looking at the pieces that i have this cabinet is much china cabinet is much larger i said let me go into my stash guys this is my stash that i have in my garage and uh, i am going in here to see what can i use i'm going to grab a few pieces these fan plates is going to go into my into my cabinet i also going to use this soup tureen here the small soup tureen and a couple other pieces that i am this is a lobster tureen and girl good old lobster bisque right mm, that'd be so good right now so i still haven't taken the tape off of it so i went into my stash and i let me find a few pieces this is in another stash that i have with just white dishes and with white dishes in terms of styling you don't have to use all the same shapes or the same style here I am going to pull from another cabinet to add to the china cabinet. So like I said, um, all your pieces when you're doing white doesn't has to have to be the same color. Once you're doing one base neutral color, you, it doesn't matter the shapes that you use. These are some of the glasses that I am going to put in this space. The goblets was thrifted and the flutes, the wine, the wine flutes, they were purchased from Home Goods. So thrifted fine, I think, from Home Goods and the others from the from the thrift store. So this is how everything is looking. And I think I did good in terms of styling this piece out. I brought out my you know, couple of my soup terrines. I used some of my milk pitcher, my condiments, jars. This is two of them right here. I even brought out my platter that I could do a nice charcuterie board on. I brought out my devil eggs tray, my egg tray my egg platter not my egg tray i bought out a few pasta bowls and serving dishes soup tureen i also added some pedestals to there i have my this is a cute little milk jar another little of the bowls but it looks like um with the lion head on it, it looks like a soup tureen and guys i am just loving the way how this piece look i have bowls in there that i could take out for pasta here is the other mr cow and i also have little milk container looking milk container uh, milk pour this is another milk jug here is another one but just in the shape of what a milk carton will be a couple pedestals that i could grab from there i like when i decorate to use the pieces that i have in styling 
because I like seeing them and it's just easy to get to and guys I use all my stuff I don't save anything I use them all up so when you come to the house you're not eating on paper plates well I don't even give my kids paper plates so you know I ain't giving them to you so this is how it looks I have a few gravy boat up there I mean everything that we could use for serving I even have a little dispenser right here wine or whatever it is it could be for breakfast it could be for honey or syrup don't matter cute just sitting right here and I added some champagne glass to it here is where I put the rest of the glasses and uh, I added some goblets to there and these are some other glasses that I have these are some platters jug and yeah so guys thank you so much for watching what I'm going to do is play music so you could just enjoy this space why am I looking at you you're a picture in a frame I make believe you're next to me but I know it's not the same why am I looking at you you're a pixel on a screen Your animating principle is nowhere to be seen Why am I lost in a loveless fantasy When somebody real is waiting out there for me Why am I looking at you I've enjoyed the years I've wasted but the time has come to face the fact that none of what I see is true. So guys, thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Share with your friends, your family. Tell them that this girl is doing some stuff over here. Bye-bye.